everyone, it's Chris A. Vance with Wi-Fi Training, and I'm here today with a PSA for you. All of you wireless professionals, experts, and admins, you need to change your controller's virtual IPs from 1.1.1 to something else. Now let's talk about this. So, I just returned from a global wireless LAN conference in Nashville, Tennessee. And I was asked there by a couple more students. They said they had heard me talk before about changing their virtual IP addresses on their controllers from 1.1.1.1, and their question was why. I get this all the time, and I've told students to do this all over the world for a couple years now, and, uh, and everybody still seems to wonder why. So I thought I'd make a quick video and explain this to everybody. First of all, let's remember what we use these 1.1.1 IP addresses for in the first place. There's a couple key functions we use these for. It's one of the many types of interfaces that we have in our wireless LAN controllers. And since our wireless LAN controller sits between the WLAN and the wired LAN, it's a great place to do things like proxying. Okay, so one of the things we can do, especially whenever it comes to guest uh, WLAN, secured guest WLANs, is allow guest users to uh, connect to the WLAN but not see any private IP space that we don't want them to see. One of the ways we do this is use that virtual IP address as the responder. So if you do like a show IP config on your computer and you've configured your controller with 1.1.1.1, you would see that in fact the DHP server address is 1.1.1.1. You would not see the real IP server address. We also use this address as the controller's address to reach the controller for WebAuth, for example. And we use that address extensively and we were we were taught, we used to teach this this way, to be honest. I taught the old way. I configured 1.1.1.1 on all my controllers because that's just the way you did it. That's the way the old guides used to tell us to do it because that address space was not really used. We, it was so simple that people just didn't use it at the time, but it wasn't the same as reserved IP address that you find in like RFC 1918, okay? so. Uh, why don't we use this address anymore? Well, because it's actually owned by Cloud, and it well, it's owned and managed by Cloudflare, but uh, it's owned in partnership with Appnic. That's Asia Pacific, uh, the registry, okay, and the whole 1.0.0.0 slash 8 is assigned to them. So they gave 1.1.1 uh, for use in partnership with Cloudflare application, which is a secure DNS service provider. In fact, they came out in 2018 and their claim is they're the fastest privacy first consumer DNS. And their big focus was for uh, Apple iOS applications and Android applications. So it's highly recommended to use something like 192.0.2.1 instead for your virtual private IP addresses. Now here's the technical reason why. Because if you use 1.1.1.1, most browsers nowadays know that Cloudflare and Apnic both use the 1.1.1 address space and it is protected with browser security. So on all your mobile devices and Google Chrome and Firefox, they look at 1.1.1 as protected address space. So whenever you try to redirect people to 1.1.1, it can cause issues. You don't want that to happen, so use something else that is really private instead and are reserved instead, like 192.0.2.1. And remember to change all your controller virtual IP addresses to this other address or something similar that is not owned by a legitimate agency and used for something as important as secure DNS. Do Now, as far as them being the fastest privacy first consumer DNS, I'm not necessarily making that claim. I'm telling you what they say in their marketing. There is many other secure DNS service providers out there like Cisco Umbrella or Google's Open DNS as well with 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8 or 8844. So hopefully this was valuable to you and it answers the question why you should not use that 1.1.1.1 in any of your virtual IP addresses. I know I also used it as a router or loopback address back in the day too. So that's owned by somebody else and we do not want it to be confused with this cloud managed service DNS. Yeah. So have a great day, have fun, and now you know to change those uh, virtual IP addresses. See ya.